The world's growing population is using sports fields, golf courses, and public green spaces more and more intensely. To be able to withstand all the pressure on the grass, good quality turf is very important, especially high quality turf that can withstand heavy traffic. Barnbrook, the world leader in grasses, continually invests in research and product development focused on creating new grasses that can withstand intensive traffic. As a result, Barnbrook has introduced RPR, regenerating perennial ryegrass, a new grass that can withstand more traffic than any other grass in the world. But where did this new species come from? How did Barnbrook find this? With competition claiming to have similar technology, is RPR truly unique? An insight into the world of grass breeding and why RPR is so unique. This new species is developed from our breeding program through a long breeding process uh, where we planted millions of plants in turf in Virginia and we applied traffic on them for four years. Because what you see is once you put traffic on them and pull the traffic off, RPR recovers because of those stolons, because it is traffic tolerant. And very, very few plants survived. For example, if you had planted like millions of plants, we brought like about 5,000 of them back. You have to start with in mind to develop something for traffic tolerance. And that's what we did. We started from ground one to develop something for traffic tolerance. We noticed that some of the plants were getting extremely large inside. They were spreading sort of sideways. And we selected these plants and studied them further and determined that this is a different species which makes determinate stolons. So here's part of the original crown. And throughout the year, they will, the stolons will come across the ground and they will start rooting at every node. And they make a new plant. And then the new plant does the same thing. It starts rooting and running stolons across. So this is how it's recovering from the traffic. The breeding of RPR is done by mass selection. The whole RPR technology yeah. is about traffic. All the plants that were selected that made the variety or varieties were selected under traffic. If the plant did not survive the traffic, it died. It just disappeared. It was extreme mass selection. The technology works, but the plants are traffic tolerant and yet can recover from that traffic once they get a break. RPR has been tested all over the USA, but how did it perform in Europe? The RPR concept has been developed within the research of Bernburg. Uh, it's a collaboration between the, the different plant breeders. It's been tested in Europe, but also in the States, where it's been put under where some of these varieties are being developed in uh, America, some varieties are being developed in uh, Europe. So here is a plant of Stoliniferous ryegrass, uh, which develops here Stolon, and uh, with the new plants that we can see here that has developed roots. And um, these plants now will be able to just develop by itself. The thing that Barnbrook works on is having elite material but also innovating material that uh, is bringing something special, something new to the market. And we can see that uh, there's a, quite a significant difference between a RPR type, so Stoloniferous type ryegrass, where the, there's not much space left between the rows, compared to here a normal type ryegrass. So we can see here that the plant is well rooted, with a very strong root system, which will give you um, a good uh, wear tolerance. A plant like this is the type of material that we are after. Fine, dense, widely spread and very good quality. So that's how RPR is developed. But what is the experience of the ed users? Barenberg's Dr. Greenshield asks Alan Patterson, course manager at St. Andrews. And so how have the results been? Uh, the results have been excellent. Uh, we seeded everything in September of 2012. Uh, to see to great success on these walkways, uh, we've made the decision to uh, broaden it out to our semi roughs and carries. And we've had some really good success, definition's a lot better. We're actually now uh, mowing um, on a more regular basis, and we have good definition, some very good comments from our golfers and our members about the benefits uh, to the semis and the overall presentation and the look of the course. 
Uh, but I say we're, we're, I'm happy with 95% of the areas um, that we have now. Pour gazonnière, nous on va chercher un gazon qui a une forte capacité à s'enraciner. Grâce au RPR, ça va permettre une installation plus rapide et un gazon beaucoup plus résistant. Par ailleurs, on va gagner en temps de production dans le processus du gazon en rouleau. Et comme on dit, si la racine est forte, le gazon l'est aussi. Et nous avons choisi Barenbrug, les régras RPR. Ce régras traçant nous permet, je dirais, d'avoir une rapidité d'installation, une agressivité, une meilleure résistance aussi aux maladies. Also, former Premier League champion Manchester City has experience with RPR. I first started using RPR uh, summer 2012, following trials done at R2 training grounds, which I was very impressed with. I was keen to use it here after seeing you know, the success that I had at both Platte Lane and Carrington, and uh, it's fair to say we've had some good results with it. From the last uh, two years, from what we've seen with RPR, it has changed for the better in that we seem to have a lot more grass cover in the recovery rates are a lot more than what we've had previously. We use the RPR mixture, we have a special mix at the stadium, RPR, and we're using our academy at Platte Lane, and we're using on all these six pitches over at Carrington Training Ground. The training we're having here at the moment, six days a week for the first team, for the reserves, EDS, under 21s, it'd be seven days a week at the moment, because we've got the under 18s here as well. With the wear and tear and more usage levels that we're having now, it does seem to repair quicker. Last year, you know, it was our 10th season here and it's probably the best pitch we've had in those 10 years. It's advanced more. The stadium pitch is always in the top five in the Premier League, best pitch in the country. And after all the concerts and all the events, I mean, we can't really go wrong with that. What you see hasn't been divoted since the last game. You know, we're at the south end of the stadium, which is the coldest, has the least light, hence why we've got the lights on now. It's not been divoted for the first three games, after a game, all the day after. The actual regeneration, you see some of the finer leaves there, which you know coming up from the RPR, as well as the bar 50, which we've oversown with to try and give us some protection. I've used Barrenbrook now for 12 years since I've been at Man City Football Club, and I feel like the grass seed is right for me, and we seem to like each other. You know, it's, uh, it's doing very well, and we're very happy with it. OK, and what about the experience in Holland? We have for RPA gekozen voor de, de, de ondergrondse uitlopers van het Engels rijgras. Dus dat ja, een snelle herstellend vermogen heeft. Je kunt echt zien dat na enkele dagen, als er een schade aan het veld is, dat die ook weer snel herstelt. Of tenminste, dat de, de groeipunten weer boven komen. Je kunt gewoon zien dat het een, een sterke wat is en dat het een sterk plantje is. Op de hertgang hebben we een veld met RPA gezaaid en dat is, ja, dat is gewoon een heel mooi veld. Gewoon 100% RPA en dat is gewoon een strak veldje. Voor een, een mat die, die, die veel bespeeld wordt, zou ik het zeker adviseren. My experience with the RPR is that it's rapid to germinate. Uh, it ticks all the boxes, both aesthetically and in uh, wear tolerance. We've selected RPR as a perfect tool to help reduce the amount of worn out and stressed areas on the golf course. Uh, we've had success within two to three weeks. So this is a perfect example. I hope you can see in the background the tram lines of the, the RPR has been overseeded into the fescue turf. This is after two, two and a half weeks of uh, seeding and uh, you can see how strong it's after coming in. If you have an area that's uh, suffering from uh, wear tolerance or uh, high traffic mechanical damage, give it a go. Uh, I have and I've, I've not been disappointed. Obviously, RPR is a unique technology from the Bar & Brew Company. How about competitors who claim to have similar products? So, since we have released RPR, uh, there are many other competitors that are coming out with uh, claiming to have similar germplasm uh, in their portfolio. When we select our plants, we put traffic on them year around. The other plant, other varieties, though they say they have traffic tolerance, they can't recover from it and they continue to die. It's quite interesting when we came out of RPR, initially they said that's not possible. There's no perennial ryegrass that can make stolons. Uh, and then soon after that, these brochures starting to come out and trying to copy our literature and some of them did not even copy it right. They called it perennial ryegrass with rhizomes. So, so it's kind of laughable how those things kind of happen. The breeding process of RPR is a lengthy process that takes up to 10 to 15 years. It's, it's, it, 
not easy to do over overnight. It's almost kind of like monkey see, monkey do sort of a story. Barenbrug is an athletic grass company. This is what we do. 